animals. Ia, ia, oh. Old MacDonald had a farm. Ia, ia, oh. And in his farm he had a few animals. Ia, ia, oh. So tell me, dear friends, what are we going to talk about today? We are going to talk about the farm and domestic animals. So, are you ready? Okay. So, what is this? This is a house. H for house. And who stays in the house? B. People stay in the house. And do you all agree that we people, we need help from animals also? Do you agree with that? Have you seen any animals helping you at home? No? You don't think that animals help you? Okay. Let me uh, show you a sound of an animal and then you tell me how does that animal help you? What is that sound? It's a pig. Does it help the farmer? Yes, it helps the farmer. I'll tell you later on how it helps the farmer. Okay. Now, I'm going to make you hear another sound. Meow. Meow. Who makes the meow meow sound? The cat makes the meow meow sound. Cat. K. Cat. The cat stays in our house. It climbs up, it climbs down and it likes to sleep on our sofa. Isn't it? So, cat is a domestic animal. And how does the cat help us? The cat helps us by catching the mouse. What does the cat do? It catches the mouse. Meow. 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 What does the cat say? Meow. 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 So, cat is a domestic animal which helps to keep our house away from the mouse. Okay? And there is another animal whom we keep inside the house. And that is... Who does this bow bow sound? The dog. I'm sure many of you have dogs at your house. And I'm sure you love dogs being in the house, isn't it? They are also called as man's best friend. What is dog called as? Man's the best friend. Why is he called as man's best friend? Number one is the dog guards our home. It guards us against the strangers. Or the people who are not good, the dog can smell them and he will understand that that person is not good and he will start barking. Bow, 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 bow. And then the dog owner understands that there is something wrong. If the dog is not liking a person, that means that person is fishy, isn't it? That person is or that person is not known in our house okay so the dog barks the dog dog barks when the strangers come to our house and only when the owner tells the dog no it's okay he's my friend then the dog keeps quiet also the dog is a best friend as i told you he accompanies his master wherever he goes wherever the master goes the dog follows 
and the dog loves his master more than anything on the earth and that's why the dog is called as man's best friend so the dog and the cat they both stay inside the house am i clear with this much okay and now i will tell you about other animals okay the other animals who help us they're all called as domestic us they're all called as domestic animals what are they called repeat after me domestic animals what are they called the domestic animals now as i told you the dog and the cat they stay in our house there are few animals who stay outside our house but then they help us a lot for example can you see this can you see these animals the cow the buffalo these animals are called as farm animals what are these animals called as farm animals and these animals generally help us in our farm they plow in the farm they help the farmer to plow the field what is the meaning of plowing the field the farmer needs to make the ground soft right so he uses some equipment some instruments to make it soft but then those are very heavy instrument so the bull helps the farmer to hold it on its back and then he pulls that instrument and that instrument goes inside the mud and it makes the mud soft it makes it loosens the mud also the cow the buffalo they also help in taking the bullock cart you have heard of bullock cart okay i will show you what bullock cart is later on but the bull helps to take the luggage in the bullock cart and walk, walk from one place to another these farm animals not only help us in the field and not only help us to carry the luggage but also they help us in other ways now what is it other way do you know who is this this is the cow the jersey cow cows could be jersey cow or normal cows also but the common factor about them is they give us milk what do they give us milk the cow gives us milk the buffalo also gives us milk and then there are other two animals which give us milk do you know about them who is this the sheep and the goat they also give us milk so who gives us milk the cow and the buffalo the sheep and the goat these four animals give us milk to drink and that's why we are so healthy isn't it now apart from these farm animals we have other animals also like this handsome animal what is this handsome animal called as is called as horse and how does the horse help us the horse carries load on his back and also look at the listen to the sound of the horse yes and then this horse is also used for race you know in the race you have the horse race isn't it so the farmer or the horse rider sits on its back and then they have it as an entertainment so the horse is also used as a status symbol because it is used as an entertainment then we have other animal something similar looking like a horse but not a horse and that is our little dear friend D for donkey. Can you see the donkey? And what does the donkey do? How does it help us? It helps the people to carry the load. Can you see? He is carrying such big portly 
generally he carries clothes which had to be washed near the river like in generally in uh, you know in the village there is scarcity of water they don't have water pipes they don't have taps like us so what do the people have to do in the village they have to carry all the clothes they put it in a potli that is in a cloth and then they put it on the back of the donkey and they walk across to the river can you see the river to the river and then the dhobi the dhobi that's the washerman he goes to the river washes the clothes in the river and then again puts it on the back of the donkey and then brings it home so this is how the donkey helps us now you know about cow buffalo you also know about sheep and goat you also know about the horse and the donkey now there are other few domestic animals which are tiny animals but then they are domestic animals let me show you here cock 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 domestic animals now how do they help us you might think they are such tiny animals and how do they help us you know the hen gives us mary jan mary jan murghi ke ande ah mary jan mary jan murghi ke ande you know what is murghi murghi is the hen and the hen gives us egg even the duck gives us egg and these eggs are full of protein what is protein protein is energy as simple as that isn't it and we require that energy for our body and who gives us that energy the hen gives us also the hen and the cock is also used for eating the non vegetarian people eat the cock and the hen because they are full of protein and it is also called as a healthy food they feel that it is healthy and they should be eating it so and then there is another little animal soft though this animal has to be in the jungle but then the farm the farmer also keeps them at home these are also used for eating and what do you, they eat what does the rabbit eat the rabbit likes to eat the radish and the carrot from the farm so if the rabbit eats the radish and the carrot and people at times eat the rabbit okay but then they are called as domestic animals so now let us do a quick recap of all the domestic animals our house we human beings we stay in the house inside the house we have the dog wow 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 the dog who protects our home and the dog likes to eat bones next comes meow meow the cat the cat eats the mice and that is how it protects our home and the cat likes to eat fish and drink milk then we have the sheep and the goat the sheep and the goat they give us milk also yes the sheep you know apart from giving milk it also gives us something which is very important when you feel cold what do you wear when you feel cold do you wear a sweater now tell me what is that sweater made up of The sweater is made up of wool. What is this sweater made up of? Wool. And from where do we get this wool? We get the wool from the sheep. Okay? Then we have other domestic animals like the cock, the hen, the duck, the geese, 
Then we have the rabbit, isn't it? And also we have the handsome hunk, that is the horse. We have the cow, buffalo, sheep, bull, all these are the farm animals. And the farmer takes care of the farm animals. And then we have the little donkey who is very modest and who helps the washerman in carrying the load. So this was all about our farm animals or the domestic animals. And the animals which are in the house, we all take care of them like the dog and the cat. But the farm animals are taken care by the farmer. Okay? And have you listened to the rhyme? Old MacDonald had a farm. Yes, this is the farm. Okay? And the farmer takes care of the farm. I hope you enjoyed this lesson of yours. Now your home task is try to find out pictures of animals, those who stay in your house and in the farm and help us as human beings. Okay? Have a great day. Bye-bye.